All right, folks, I had some of you asking about some practice problems uh, involving neutralization reactions. Uh, here's one example of where you have a strong acid with a strong base. And just remember that anytime you have a strong acid and a strong base, you have this H and you have this OH, it's going to make water because strong acids and strong bases will always make water in some type of soluble salt. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is figure out uh, some scratch work to get ready to write the complete then the ionic and the nationic equations. Okay, so we have HCl plus KOH yields something. Let's go find out what that something is. Okay, this is a strong acid. This is a strong base. They dissociate 100% into ions. So that's an H plus one. That's Cl negative one, and you have K plus one and OH negative one. Now remember, this is just my scratch work. It's meaningless, but it gets my ideas in order. I put a different positive with a different negative. So I'm going to put this H plus one with this OH negative one, and I'm going to put this K plus one with this. Cl negative one. Now that will give me HOH, which is H2O. That's a liquid. And it'll give me a salt of potassium chloride, which is soluble. So this is aqueous, aqueous, a liquid, and aqueous. So I can now write my complete. Just make sure that once you write your complete, you balance it. So it gives you HCl and KOH yields liquid water and potassium chloride. Make sure it's balanced. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one oxygen, one oxygen, and one K, one K, one Cl, one Cl. It's balanced. Now let's get the total ionic. Okay. Basically it's your scratch work in order. <laughs> but remember you do not break into ions. Water, you don't break that into ions, so don't. And if you ever have a weak base or a weak acid, don't break them apart. Now, it's okay if you do that up here in your scratch work so you can get everything in order. But in your ionic and anionic, do not break them down into ions. That's weak bases, weak acids, uh, your precipitants or your liquids, uh, you know, your solids, your liquids, or your gases. So anyway, we have one hydrogen, so it's one H plus one aqueous plus Cl negative one aqueous plus K plus one aqueous plus OH negative one aqueous yields water which is H2O liquid plus and this is a soluble salt according to the solubility uh, chart that you were given in class or you can get from the website uh, plus a plus one plus Cl negative one. This cancels with this. This cancels with this. Those are your spectator ions, and we'll make sure we write those down. So your uh, net ionic is H plus one plus OH negative one, because that's what we did on mark out. Yields water H2O liquid and that's it. You're done other than if you want to label your spec ions. Your spectator ions uh, will be what you marked out which was the K plus one and the Cl negative one. Okay guys just watch it a few times and make sure you understand that if any time that you're writing a dissociation of strong acids and strong bases you always break them down to ions and that if you are going to react those, you're always going to make a water, you know, which we have here, and you're going to make some type of soluble salt, which ends up being, you know, its parts ends up being spectator ions. All right, just watch it over and over. I hope this helps.